notably private equity firms, have been reluctant to invest more than a certain amount in banks because of an implied oversight by the central bank. An advocate general at the European Court of Justice has rejected age concerns claim that forcing people to retire at or after 65 without compensation breaches EU quality legislation. According to Aeon Consulting, the opinion handed down means that European member states are able to apply national laws with regard to fixing retirement ages, providing this policy can be objectively justified in the context of national law. The company said it believes that employers will be hugely relieved as the decision gives them at least three years breathing space. This is due to the fact that the British government is due to review the default retirement age in 2011. Aeon Consulting added that whilst the Advocate General's opinion is not binding on the European Court of Justice and a final judgment will not be made for a number of months, the decision will give employers time to consider their approach to providing benefits for employees who continue working into older age. AIG's UK Managing Director has moved to reassure staff, brokers and insureds that the business is not for sale. Alex Barr said, as our new CEO, Edward Libby, said in his address to staff, there are no intentions to sell either the US or foreign commercial general insurance. He referred to these businesses as core to the business and described them as keepers. In areas such as writing new business and paying claims, it is, it is very much business as usual here in the UK. The strengths of the business remain the same today as they were before underwriting, product development, and our ability to meet clients' needs. None of that has changed, nor will it. Lloyd's insurer Beasley Group has acquired London-based specialist management agency Momentum Underwriting Management Limited for 37.5 million US dollars. Beasley will finance the deal from its own assets. Some of the price will be deferred with the amount to be paid later depending on profitability. Momentum, which specializes in life and personal accident business, was founded in 2000. It also has an office in Australia. Momentum expects to earn about 100 million US dollars in gross premiums in 2009. In a statement, Beasley described the acquisition as in line with its strategy to continue to diversify its portfolio of specialist business into niche international markets which benefit from higher barriers to entry. And in our final story today, a combination of class action contagion from the US and growing economic uncertainty have spurred an unprecedented surge in the demand for management liability insurance among the UK's top firms, according to a survey from Marsh. Marsh indicated that two years ago, only 10% of FTSE 250 companies were buying DNO insurance to protect the personal assets of their directors. Today, the figure is nearer to 50%. Much of the demand is driven by the need to attract and retain high caliber candidates who increasingly require insurance in addition to any indemnities which may be available from their company. Well, that's the news for today. We'll be back at our normal time tomorrow with Frank Fortunato. Until then, thank you for watching and have a good day.